perspective. Dr. Sudha Acharya, governments come and go, but shouldn't textbooks stay on? And of course, sensibilities change. Of course, uh, more research comes to light. There's more that needs to be added. There's, there are so many aspects that get revised. Surely, quotes, verdicts come and go. Things are redefined. But how, uh, where, where does one draw the line? Are the minds of these young students the experiment ground for breeding political ideology? Is that what it's turning into? Yeah, I believe what you are saying. See, uh, changes in the textbook uh, continuously, like in April 1st, we have started with a new session. And within two months, we have changed political science and history, uh, the curriculum or one chapter, either we have added or deleted. But uh, we all follow NCRT textbook. These are the guidelines for the uh, teachers. But these books are uh, were printed in 2005. So when we talk about Indian foreign policy or any other policy, it has been hugely updated. So as teachers, we can't uh, teach our children uh, the fact and figures of 2005. So in my opinion, with the advent of new education True. policy or curriculum framework, so many foundational literacy, numeracy, internship, career counseling, so many things have been focused. So why we are not focusing on delivering quality education, I would not enter into the politics of textbook and the content. Every political ideology, when they come, they bring in their ideology. It is is okay. So as you said, emergency, I have also grown up uh, studying emergency, what happened, the perspective, everything. So, uh, but continuously changing uh, uh, textbook creates confusion among educators and uh, the teachers who are delivering in the classroom. So my contention is to focus on quality education like we have read the uh, report of Pratham, uh, which came out. I mean, we have seen that 14 to 18 uh, year age group students, they don't know their future. You know, they don't have any role modeling, no career counseling, uh, uh, the avenues where they can go in, the current scenario of NEET, JE, all of us are uh, suffering through that. Why so much demand for NEET and JE? Because students, they don't know, they are not aware about other avenues. These are not two employment avenues which are available. So why we are not empowering our students uh, with 21st century challenges, what is awaiting them in future? We are one hand talking about AI, coding, computer learning, AR, VR, and other way we are talking about globalizing Indian knowledge system. There is nothing wrong about it. We should. But um, changing uh, curriculum okay. and textbook very frequently is only creating confusion in the minds of educators. It is Aris not Pajania, any would you want to students. respond to what Dr. Sudha Acharya is saying? It's not me. It's not a journalist. It's an expert, domain expert, who is saying, do you want to respond to her? Yes. Uh, Sneha, uh, about history, it is said that it is written by the conqueror and suffered by the vanquished. And if uh, the lines don't write their own history, I think the history of hunt will always glorify the hunter. Itself. So what you, so the I, line that you really quoted, and if I may correct you on that, so, is a line of a colonial historian. No, no. It's my, not my, of a historian. The I, perspective I, that you have quoted I, is that of a colonial historian that you have quoted right now. I don't think that perspective holds true for 2024 India. I think we need to yeah. get out of that, sir. Wouldn't you agree? Sneha, Sneha, Sneha my, my submission, my submission remains very, very sweet and simple. We have heard much about the Mughals. Why do we read pretty less about the Cholas of the South India? Why the which had, why we, we read about Akbar? Read less, why do I we don't read know which textbook are you talking about? Than, because I read read a lot about Cholas as well. But why don't uh, why don't I we mean read Cholas were a huge South deal India? down he, south? He was the emperor of Kashmir and he extended the boundaries of Kashmir up to Central Asia. Why why the history calls Maral Harris? But why don't I why don't I see that in, no 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 then with the changes that did happen why didn't here's my question with the changes Please. did happen why didn't you bring that in why are you just centered around Mughals yes add yes. on uh, add to yeah, India's history and the diversity why nullify what to, exists yeah I don't want to I don't want to downplay I don't want to downplay the history of Mughals I think things have to be seen in the rational perspective I see the perspectives change. The vision has changed, the, the level of understanding remains. I started with, this is just a rationalization. It happens each and every 
time. And now the government has decided that NCRT will review the textbooks every year. So I think this is a professional outlook. This is a more existentialistic uh, outlook, which is need to be pulled in. In this labels and the and the history which is being read by the students of this. Kamrizman Chaudhary, this is isn't politicization. This is rationalization. Should not be politicized. Should not be politicized. That's my humble view. It should not be politicized in any case. There should not be political overtones and undertones to it. I okay. I do respect. Okay, let me just go to Kamrizman Chaudhary, sir. Let me get his response. Is, can I can I respond, please? You know, you, you know, Sneha is very unfortunate, unfortunate that the government of the day thinks by changing names, by changing the NCRT textbooks or history books or sociology books, they will be able to rewrite the history. They want to rewrite the history, but on their own perspective, they want to rewrite, tell us about an India that never existed. Create enmity within communities, that's their main goal. They have changed names of the cities, they have changed names of railway station, of roads, with the only purpose to create division within the society. The NCRT is the pivotal textbook agency in the country. And you know, 30 of the eminent writers who wrote the NCRT books, they, they asked the NCRT to, uh, to, uh, to delete their names from the book because they do not subscribe to the content that is there now being Okay, published. one question, Kamrizman Chaudhary. What would you tell... What would you tell to the critics who say that, listen, NCRT's or syllabus, school syllabus for a very long time was written from the lens of the left liberal and they're just equalizing it. And that's so why I, people like Aris Patania would say this is rationalization. How would you respond to that? I told you, rewriting the textbooks of our students is nothing wrong in it. It has to be. It has to be an evolution coming out. Every textbook needs to be updated with, with newer facts for, for a progressive society. This is the only source of knowledge for our students. And if you say that we are trying to rewrite the minds of this young generation with what we want them to be, then there is wrong in it. You want to saffronize the education? It is wrong. You want to put them to judge themselves the books that they are studying? then it's the right approach for an education out here. Let them infer what went right, what went okay. wrong. Don't try okay. to impose that this was wrong in the history and so we are rewriting this and you better... The, the policy of a pseudo-nationalism okay. that is you can, uh, you can understand in these textbooks that are being written right now. You are trying to recalc recalculate what would have happened in the some 500 to 600 years back and okay. asking okay. the present mind uh, to be Last, poisoned. let me just go... We're short on time, sir. We're short on time. Dr. Sudha Acharya, strong allegations coming in here from the opposition. They have been calling the saffronization of the education, repeated attempts of changing syllabus. Somebody who deals with children, I want to ask you a question. What would this mean for the Indian education system in the international light? Students who want to go abroad and study, students who want to pursue research at higher level, students who would want to go and take fellowships and go and study abroad, does this all matter? Yeah, I would say that we are focusing so much on skilled India, you know, skilled education, vocational education, and uh, two level of every subject. So many new concepts we are talking about. When we talk about two level of every subject, where are the books? In maths, we have introduced two level, uh, basic and standard, but we have one book, same classroom teaching. Only in board exam, we get two question paper. So this won't help. Instead of focusing in, if we are introducing new policy, then are we working towards that two label textbooks are not available? If we, if I talk about skill education, we just have PDF form of uh, uh, web application, yeah, AI or any other uh, skill education. It is only available on PDF form. Teachers don't have it. Right. And so these things to be okay. uh, focused by NCRT rather than adding here or deleting there, they should completely refresh the NCRT book at the current uh, level. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, all three of you for joining us.